So prepare for rivals. It's Kin. Oh, well, thanks, Kin. And Santino. Oh no, Yigin with the 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 sub gifted sub as well. Wait, so Santino, your Kin? Wait, I thought Santino, Santino, and Kin's Kin. You're confusing me. <laughs> You're confusing me. Oh, that's perfect though, Yigin with the nine gifted subs because I am the nine fingers and nine is the number we need, guys. Right, so the defending team, Fatal Faction, we've got Boomin Kagan. He's got three tier five cavalry. Um, there's quite a lot of cavalry for the defending team. A couple of Chevaliers, a couple of um, Wing Tassars, a couple of Cataphracts. The attacking team, we've got a lot of Madao, a lot of Fort Brachio, quite a few Shenjus, a few Iron Reapers. The uh, Is it Hashashin's the tier five or is that the tier three one? The tier 5 new assassin unit. Um, obviously no Falconetis allowed, no Sifirophanoi allowed, no Liao's allowed, and the fourth unit, I've forgotten what it is. I will see if I can find it quickly. The other band... Ah, oh, the Zagali Militia was also banned. No, Zagali Militia was a pick. Um, the other ban was Imperial Pikes, apologies. Um, yo, so we'll see how that goes down. My team kicked me out. Fuck demo democracy. I'll become a dictator. I mean, fatal. Why would any team want to play with somebody as bad as you when they could just replace you with literally somebody that's played the game for 10 minutes and do like twice as good? Can anybody explain this to me? <laughs> you know I love you, fatal, really. But you know, I'm, I'm just a bit of a douchebag, so you'd have to get over it, I suppose. <laughs> So, I'll actually pay attention what the, de the defending teams do. It looks like Fatal Faction are definitely pulling back to C at least. I'm going to slow down the, ma uh, the camera now a little bit. Now we're up into the sky. Um, defending A and B is difficult because there's so many different uh, ways that you can, you can attack. So you can obviously come through the tunnel, you can go through the breach at B, you can get the siege towers in and go along the wall, you can go through the gate and you can go through the breaches on the eastern side next to the supply, which means it's very difficult for the defending team to actually get to grips with. Mm. We got Aimaltar hiding his dudes. Oh, that's no, booming Kagan. I don't know why I saw Longsword and decided that that was Aimaltar. Oh, apologies, that was Aimaltar, but you know, I'm terrible, so what are you going to do? So we've got obviously a number of guys on the bombards for the attackers. Ooh, I'm out. I just got took out with a bombard. That must have been. Who took it? Ah, oh, I missed it. I think that was Ran. I think that was Lan Rumil. I'm not sure though. And because the tab thing's terrible, I can't actually see who just killed who there. Hmm. But I'm out. I died. I think he must have got hit by a bombard. Um. Unfortunate for him. So the siege towers are gonna gonna get in. We've got guys up on the wall already, so Shady here should already be able to see that the defenders have basically pulled back from A and B. Obviously, somebody's too over enthusiastic and runs in and starts getting A. They're gonna they're gonna struggle a little bit. I do like that the defenders have got quite a few units on this side already. It's gonna force the attackers to you know use trebuchets and to place artillery to hit this bit. The defenders haven't seen that treb though, and that's a huge one straight in the middle of the stalwarts, and I think Fort Brachios are stacked on top of them as well. And Bag Kerluanyan, can you can call spy? Who's a spy? Oh, spy Skybreak Pony. Your team did everything right, Fatal, by kicking him. <laughs> Fair one. And Common Capybara, thank you for the follow, my guy. Much appreciated. Here's the uwu for you. Uwu. And uwu for 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 Bag Kur. Bag Kerluan. Uwu. On the sax guy as well. Are oh, you? Yeah. So the attackers have got A and B. I can't help but feel like the attackers should ignore this staircase, apart from maybe getting a few more trebs down and maybe put some mortars down already. They should go for the back supply there, 
and try getting through the backside because there's not really a setup on C, is there, if we're being honest? Oh, another subscription. Another gifted sub. Yigen. Going absolutely berserk, my dude. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, my guy. Very, very nice of you. So it looks like the attackers, Zoo, are going to go up the, let's say, the main staircase towards C. The defenders have pulled a lot back. So they were just probably, well, they were baiting. They weren't probably baiting. They were baiting. Um, we have got some Zekalian from Luan Leon Kerr up on top of the wall there. And you would have thought me being English, like saying French words would be difficult. But because I'm a Warhammer douchebag, I've been smashing out all of the total war Warhammers. Luan Leon Kerr, Kerr, is a name that you should just know if you're a bit of a Warhammer geek. Like myself. Hashashins is the, the tier 5. Yeah, cool. I was, I was correct. I guessed, but we guessed correctly. That is the sign of a true professional. We all know it's true. <laughs> right, so the attackers are starting to place a shit ton of artillery. Lots of mortars. Lots and lots of mortars. Obviously, the defenders. We've got I'm out here as, as uh, the musket. He's going to try black powder bombing this stuff down. Um, you should get it down within a few bombs, to be fair. If any of the other Luan Leon Kurs, the Kalians are basically gone. Hero-wise, for the defenders, we've got Step Bro Tekas down there as well. He's, he should be, maybe be up on the walls and must get and start bombing down as well. We do have Booming Kagan on the back here. He's about to get pushed by Shady. Mm. <clears throat> if they had Shenji's on the back here, they'd better bomb this one here from my show. But it looks like Booming Kagan's going to get rushed by a short sword and a long sword. Uh, and he kicked the wrong ladder down. Although Don Morales-Man and a couple of other guys coming over with Shield Maidens now. And I think that's maybe a bait look, because the mortar just fired across and landed exactly where Booming Kagan was. Ah, from here, sneaky little position. Shenji bomb's getting thrown straight over the wall. No, that was the Kaelin even, apologies. I just saw bombs in the air and just assumed it was... So, there is the push coming now onto the point, and... Fatal Faction are pulling back and giving up C. But, like I was just discussing, they've forced the attackers to use mortars basically on C. Even though they didn't have to fight on C. Does that make sense? They they fainted. So now they, they're probably going to do a very similar setup to what the what Zoo just had. That Treb could do work on the Shenjis that are back here. Oh yeah, that just took out, I think, like a unit worth, maybe. Because there was two sets of Shenjis there. That was a good Treb. That, was, that Treb got his money's worth. Um, so yeah... So Fatal Faction are basically setting up in a similar fashion to how Zoo did. But because they were they were fainting and like posturing, let's say, uh, at the top of the stairs here and on C itself, it's forced Zoo to place artillery down that's almost not had its like it's not they've not fired all of the shots probably. Oh, so Loon Leonco's killing some of these now anyway. Uh, there's still seven seven left shots left on that uh mortar. There was like five left on this one. There's still shots left on this mortar, and these mortars cannot be used now. They're like in a position that's a bit too far away, and they can't actually get down there. We've got Tocho and Winkro up here with... Is that Bravo? With Bravo as well, with a couple of culverins, it looks like. Although Treb's coming in now, that's probably going to get rid of that cannon. Unless they're extremely lucky. Mm. I do like the, like the delaying tactics. I do like the posturing that, that's been done by Fatal Faction, just like forcing the attackers to use as much of their artillery as possible. That's that's the way I would have set it up if I was, you know, actually good at the game. <laughs> that was just me saying that because looking at it and like deducing that it would have been a better way for, for Zoo to defend, to, to, to just waste as much artillery of the attackers as possible. And as you could see, the defenders have basically only just now started using artillery because they've got a lot less than the um, they've got obviously a lot less than the the other guys do, and it looks like the defenders are the guys bringing this breach down to make it more difficult for the the attackers to push through. Because I just saw a mortar going off. There it is. So this mortar is going to get rid of down, down this breach, so the attackers can't do the same push that Fatal Faction just did, and it's basically forcing the attackers to do an attack that Fatal Faction obviously have planned for, otherwise won't be taken down the breach can you play gay music for bubbles uh i mean i can ask bubbles why he's why are you gay but i don't think i've got gay music wait gay music hmm 
I've got this music. I don't know if this is gay, though. This is now gay music for Bubbles, we've decided. <laughs> it's not new, new. It's Bubbles' is gay music. <laughs> right, so Treb's going off in the background. I think they were aimed at a, a piece of artillery. Can't really see. It may have been a bit slow and that's it. There, there probably was an artillery, though, let's be real. There's no units and I can't see any bodies. And they wouldn't have just trebbed nothing for no reason. Uh, Unit-wise, the defenders are roughly 100 less than the attackers now. Obviously, the attackers have been able to use trebuchets. They've only got four left, so they've been very aggressive with their trebs so far. The defenders have still got cheeky little culverins up on this wall. Although, there's nothing really for the culverins to hit anymore, like artillery-wise. Although... Can't see any artillery in here. Not, oh, that one there, but I think that's covered. Yeah, that's covered by the, the wooden palisade here. Obviously, there's more going down now, but it depends how much artillery the defenders have still got left to place. I don't like that when people are pinging stuff in game, it's pinging it for me as well. It's kind of annoying. That was a good treb as well. That just like wiped a, roughly half of a shield maiden unit. So, them trebs onto the resupply have been very, very good. I can't help but think that they maybe would have been better off every now and then sending a guy back to the very back resupply over here instead of using the front one that can get tripped, but you know. Hindsight is 2020 and all that, so it looks like the push is going to come through now and it's going to come through this archway. And when it does, the defenders are not going to be in a position to deal with it straight off the bat. There is a trip going down there now, but it's going to be a bit too late. So there are Shenji bombs from Maisha coming in now. I don't think Fatal Faction are going to have the numbers for the initial push. And obviously there's a lot of guys coming down this causeway now. Nothing coming from the base. We've got units charging in. The initial fight definitely goes in the way of Zoo. Fatal Faction coming from the side now. We're starting to even it out a little bit. Bombs from the top here from the attackers. I was doing work. Uh, Chevaliers from the defenders coming in. Although the crossbows are going to get ruined by some... I think that's Imperial Shield Guard. Fatal Faction in the background there with like Al I'm Altar's unit, although his Shendis are running on oh, no, us, Wincrow's unit. Looks like the attackers are actually winning that fight there as well. Hero wise, the def No, the attackers have got less. Ooh, multiple cavalry's coming in. Although one stopped their charge. Monastics stopped completely stopped the charge before they got in. Good treb going down from the attackers. I think is that winged Assars? No, that's Cataphrax. That was Cataphrax. They were a bit laggy, I couldn't really see. But that is a good push so far from the attackers. The attackers have now got a 200 unit difference. Ooh, that could be a huge treb. I think they've just managed to get out of the way of it. Oh no, a unit just spawned. You un Barbaros's unit, I think, just spawned right in front of it. Multiple cavalry units coming out from the defenders. They'll try to clear this absolute cluster from the attackers. It looks like nobody's up on the base point yet, so everyone's fighting here. The defenders did manage to just wipe six of the uh, attacking heroes, though, and they may be able to push through into the back lines here where these chevaliers are. If I was Fatal Faction, I probably wouldn't do that push, so it's probably better to just consolidate, reset up for a push, and go from there. It looks like uh, multiple guys are pulling back up to the base as well, unless they're just flanking around to get onto this side again so they can push through the corridor. It looks like that's what they're doing. They've got multiple guys on the resupply again, but there are no more trebs, so they don't have to worry about that anymore. Obviously, mortars and other artillery can still do their job. So, unit-wise, for the defenders, we have camels. Camels are very strong at the minute. We've got multiple shield maidens looking at that. There's so many dead bodies, it's kind of difficult to see what's going. It looks like chevaliers were going to go through the archway. We've got camels in the back here as well. Then we've got more chevaliers. The attackers have got Fort Brachia, they've got Mundao, and it looks like they're going to go with the breach this time, but now camels are already in the way. And because there's no more trebs, the defenders can be a little bit more cocky and blasé with their defensive line. They don't have to worry about trebs coming in from every which direction. So at this breach, we've got stalwarts and camels just basically braced and ready to go. We've got shield maidens patrolling. I think Zoo are basically going to have to maybe try and split push or something because otherwise they're going to they're gonna struggle, I think. They can't really climb up back here in like a, a manner where they'll be able to do it in, in time to not get annihilated. As you just saw, if they rotate this way, Fatal Faction can just move over and block this side. If they rotate this way, they can just go this way because they've got the tiniest, tiniest rotation in the world to pull off. Um... 
That fight was good though for the attackers. They do have the roughly 150, 160 unit difference at the moment. So it's not like the end of the world. We do have new defender artillery up on this tower. Although there is a mortar. Oh no, he's not aiming for that. He's aiming for where the units are. Okay. I think this musket's going to try getting it though. No, the musket isn't trying to get it. The musket's aiming at the units down here. Interesting. And I think that was Zekalian. Yeah, Monk of the Noob Zekalian hitting units over here. That was Fort Abrachios as well, looking at the, the pikes on the floor. Interesting. So there are a few heroes and a few units over this side from the attackers. Most of their stuff is stacked on the C point. So it looks like they're going to go through the smaller arch over here. I'm going to flip over because it looks like they're about to push. Or they just got their muskets there just throwing bombs and trying to do as much damage as possible. There's a fight going on down here. So... A couple of the def... No, a defender and an attacker just died. Apologies. We've got ballistas down there and the lot. Obviously, the longer the attackers need to push through, the better it is for the defenders. Interesting. There's a bit of stalemate that's happened here now. These Shenjis upon here could do work, though, if they can get decent amounts of bombs off. The defenders don't really have anything to answer to that, though. I mean, we've got a couple of muskets that might be able to throw their own bombs up, but... Interesting. So what's Zoo going to do here? They're going to have to do something. They can't just wait. I wouldn't be surprised if Fatal just like... Uh, Fatal Faction decided to just sally out. But they're going to have to do something. They've got enough short swords. They've got Shenji bombs. They've got their own musket players. They could force one big engagement and then just like bomb the whole front line down. If they like force a big fight here, they've got multiple Shenjis maybe up on the wall, maybe here and bomb over into the, the main cluster of enemies. This should be fine. Booming Kagan there was lucky to get knocked off the wall. Because the only CC unit it looks like that the defenders have out at the minute, I think, was maybe Zekalian. Now the big push is coming. Here comes a big push. So we do have a fight in the, the archway here as well, but I think that was more of a bait. There's just a few more down just to slow things down. Uh, they push through all the way on this side, though. There are multiple cavalry charges coming from the resupplied side, though. Let's see if we can get a better view like this. There we go. Now we can see any cheeky flanks coming off. So there's more cavalry coming in the background. The attackers have been able to push through and up the stairs a little bit, though. They were getting rid of a couple of the enemy heroes. The fight towards the resupply, though, is definitely going in the way of Fatal Faction. They just have more units. There are, however, Mermilones. I think that's Shield Maidens and Fort Brachio from the Defender in a good position to stop cavalry charges like the one coming through now. Yeah, they just got absolutely stomped by the Fort Brachios that were there. There are, however, units from Fatal Faction behind this. So they pushed all the way through and behind, and they try to get in from behind now. From the base side, there's nothing really going on. I can't see anything on the minimap for a cheeky flank. More cavalry coming through from Fatal Faction. Very, very nicely done there. Unit, or hero-wise even, Fatal Faction are dropping more heroes than the attackers are. Hero, uh, unit-wise, apologies for getting mixed up. There is 150 in favour of the attackers. The attackers have now cleared behind C. They are probably going to go and get the resupply. They've still got roughly four, five minutes. So it looks like Zoo are going to get a victory on this attack as well. Interesting. Very nicely done. I like the fact that they did, when they eventually pushed through, that they managed to make it stick. And they've been winning the engagements so far. I think maybe hero deaths-wise, it's, it's closer than the last fight was, definitely. But let's see what the defenders can do on this back point. So they've got a couple of... Well, they've at least got one camel rider. Or camels. They've got two units of Shenji from what I can see. We've got shield maidens, modal... And Iron Reapers. I can't see any other units for the Defender just yet. The attackers are coming straight through the main gate, though. The shortest route possible. Technically the easiest to defend, but the Defenders just weren't in a position to do so. Shenji bombs on this from the Defenders is going to do work, though. The attackers are pushing through with their own camels. They've got Iron Reapers. There are Chevaliers there. Cavalry absolutely just bomb bursting through. That could be... That looks like Dagger Axe Lances. Cavalry coming from the... If like the main attacking side. Multiple sets of cavalry from the attack, uh, the main side as well. We've got multiple ballistas going down here as well. Is that Wing Dessars? Wing Dessars going through... And it looks like Zoo are going to be able to take control of the end point. And it's GG. The defenders have only got seven heroes up. Ah! They died more than three times. So Zoo 
has killed so many of the defending heroes that they can no longer respawn. That's what's going on. That's why they weren't coming back. And I forgot the, 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 the free death rule. Because I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> so Zoo. With a very impressive comeback on that second round as well. That was very nice to see. Um, let's go through MVPs. That was that was pretty good, man. So MVP for Zoo is... Is that Nifty? I think that's Nifty. 3, 2, 14 and 116 units. The highest units killed also is like... Thrifty and Baldwin, both with 116. Uh, highest assist, it looks like, goes to Baldwin with 16. And highest heroes killed, I believe, is 6. It is 6. And that goes to Dangalak Ath Athet, I think that maybe is. Athet man. Athet men or something. Apologies for butchering your name, but it doesn't actually tell me the rest of the name. And because my memory is terrible, you know, mistakes are made. <laughs> But MVP for the defending team was Step Bro Tekas with 225 and 93. 93 being the highest units killed as well. Highest assists goes to Llama the Joe with 8 looking at that. Yeah, and highest heroes killed is 6 and that goes to Don Morales, man. Um, let's have a look on the end plate for the most uh, hero... Oh, the hero deaths was... Actually, very similar to the initial fight when Fatal Faction was attacking Zoo. I think there it was 30 to 11. Or 31 to 11. No, I think it was like 33 to 11, pretty much bang on. So it's slightly worse this time, but obviously clearly more than enough that Zoo could uh, stop Fatal Faction from spawning back in and start pushing through. Mm, this time, a few of the fights, especially this end one, he was very even. Look at that, that was so even. But because the attackers had... had the, the better confrontations until that point, they'd lost less units. The fact that this last or second to last fight, let's say, was so even, it didn't really make a difference because the, the Euro, hero and unit difference had already been made by this point. And both teams on the attack take in full advantage of the fact that their artillery as the attacking team is just simply more than the defenders. So nicely done. Toggle, Zoo, Red. Toggle, Fatal Faction, Blue. Ugly Mug. Do we have two? So, 1-1. One, one. A draw. Which means we will be going to a...